The Royal Australian Air Force has significantly bolstered its airborne command and control capabilities by integrating SpaceX's Starlink satellite communication system into its E-7A Wedgetail aircraft, a pivotal upgrade that enhances Australia's defense posture in the Indo-Pacific. Operated by No. 2 Squadron at Royal Australian Air Force Base Williamtown, the E-7A Wedgetail, a modified Boeing 737-700, serves as a cornerstone of the Australian Defence Force, acting as a force multiplier that coordinates air, sea and land operations across vast distances. Completed in a remarkable eight months and operational by February 2024, the Starlink integration delivers global high-speed, low-latency connectivity, enabling the Wedgetail to maintain situational awareness and direct joint operations in contested environments. Supported by a 569 million Australian dollars investment in the Wedgetail fleet, this upgrade underscores Australia's commitment to technological superiority amid rising regional tensions, reinforcing its role as a key player in coalition frameworks like EUCAS and deepening interoperability with allies. The Indo-Pacific's geopolitical landscape, marked by China's military expansion, territorial disputes in the South China Sea and North Korea's missile activities necessitates advanced defense capabilities. As a critical U.S. ally and AUKUS partner, Australia aims to deter adversaries while fostering seamless collaboration with the United States, United Kingdom, and NATO members. The Starlink-enhanced Wedgetail supports these goals by enabling real-time data sharing, essential for multi-domain operations and strengthens Australia's contribution to a rules-based regional order. However, reliance on commercial satellite networks like Starlink raises concerns about dependency on private entities and the militarization of low-Earth orbit. Chinese researchers have flagged Starlink's dual-use capabilities as a potential escalatory factor, highlighting the risk of space becoming a contested domain. This positions Australia at the intersection of technological innovation and geopolitical complexity, balancing partnerships with the need to mitigate risks in an increasingly militarized space environment. The Starlink upgrade enhances the E-7A Wedgetail's already impressive capabilities. At its heart is the Northrop Grumman multi-role electronically scanned array radar, mounted on a dorsal fin, which provides 360-degree surveillance and detects airborne and maritime targets beyond 600 kilometers. Unlike mechanically scanned radars, the MESA's electronic beam steering enables simultaneous air and sea tracking with high reliability and rapid responsiveness, making it ideal for dynamic threat environments. The aircraft's passive electronic surveillance systems intercept and geolocate adversary emissions while its identification friend or foe interrogators and comprehensive communication suite, including UHFs, VHF, SATCOM, and data links, establish it as a secure airborne relay node. With 10 operator consoles, mission crews can manage real-time engagement decisions, tasking fighter aircraft, maritime patrol assets, and ground-based defenses. Starlink's integration introduces high bandwidth, low latency connectivity, ensuring continuous data exchange in communications-denied environments, a critical advantage for coordinating complex operations across the Indo-Pacific's expansive maritime and air domains. The Wedgetail's role is tailored to Australia's strategic imperatives in a region defined by vast distances and evolving threats. As an airborne command center, it extends sensor and communication ranges far beyond ground-based systems providing early warning of air and missile threats, directing fighter aircraft, and supporting naval operations. Capable of monitoring up to 4 million square kilometers per mission, it is indispensable for persistent situational awareness in contested areas like the South China Sea or Australia's northern approaches. The Wedgetail excels in crisis response and high-tempo combat, enhancing the ADF's effectiveness in independent and coalition operations. The Starlink upgrade amplifies these capabilities, enabling faster, more secure data sharing vital for dynamic, multi-domain missions. This ensures the Wedgetail remains a linchpin of Australia's integrated air and missile defense strategy, capable of countering advanced threats like hypersonic missiles and electronic warfare tactics that are reshaping the modern battle space. 
implementation of the Starlink upgrade, led by the Royal Australian Air Force's Airborne Surveillance, Control, and Intelligence Systems Program Office, was a triumph of rapid innovation, completed in just eight months. The Royal Australian Air Force operates six E-7A wedge tails, all based at Williamtown, with a distinguished operational history. From 2014 to 2019, they supported Operation Okra against ISIS in the Middle East, flying over 550 missions and achieving a 100% mission success rate in 2016. Under Operation Kudu in 2023 to 2024, wedge tails deployed to Germany, flying 250 hours to protect supply lines to Ukraine, demonstrating interoperability with NATO and US forces. In the Indo-Pacific, participation in exercises like Pitch Black strengthens regional partnerships. The $569 million Australian dollars investment awarded to Boeing Defence Australia sustains 170 jobs in the Eneswalt Hunter region, 360 personnel at Williamtown, and additional roles in Brisbane and Adelaide, while ensuring ongoing upgrades to the fleet and ground systems to address emerging threats. The implications of the Starlink Enhanced Wedge Tail are far-reaching for Australia, the Indo-Pacific, and its partners. For Australia, the upgrade ensures the wedged relevance against modern threats, enhancing strategic autonomy while maintaining interoperability with allies. It strengthens national defense by enabling rapid, informed decision-making in contested environments, critical for protecting Australia's maritime approaches and regional interests. Economically, the investment boosts the defense industry, fostering innovation and job creation. Regionally, the wedge tail enhances deterrence, signaling capability to adversaries like China and North Korea, and supports coalition efforts to maintain stability in contested areas. However, reliance on Starlink may escalate tensions over LEO congestion and space militarization, potentially straining relations with China, which views space as a strategic frontier. For partners, the upgrade deepens collaboration with the US, which plans 26 E7As by 2027, and the UK acquiring three wedge tails through shared training and operational doctrines under the E7 Joint Vision Statement. US and UK personnel embedded with Number 2 Squadron gain from Australia's operational expertise, while NATO's planned six E7As by 2031 and operators like South Korea and Turkey benefit from interoperable advancements. Within AUKUS, the upgrade aligns with technology-sharing goals, potentially enabling further enhancements like advanced sensor integration or artificial intelligence for real-time data analysis. The Starlink-equipped Wedgetail also positions Australia as a leader in adopting commercial technology for military applications, setting a precedent for other nations. Its ability to operate in communications contested environments enhances Australia's role in coalition operations, particularly in scenarios requiring rapid response to regional crises, such as natural disasters or maritime security incidents. Yet, the integration of commercial systems introduces challenges, including vulnerabilities in satellite networks and the need for robust cybersecurity measures to protect against potential disruptions. As Australia navigates these complexities, the wedge tail's proven track record and ongoing modernization ensure it remains a vital asset in shaping the Indo-Pacific security landscape, balancing technological innovation with the strategic demands of a volatile region.